my friends. Welcome to Child's Play and Why. Here we are in another installment of Turning Bad Guys Good. We have the exceptionally crabby Tomatoa, and we know that he's kind of crabby because he has too much stuff. He hey, likes are we talking about me? Are we talking about me? Somebody said I a comment about the amount of things that I have. Hello, it's very hard to see you through all that clutter, my what friend. Mean? What clutter? Yeah. Where? Clutter it, it is right in front of you. Front we of can you? hardly see you. I can see you fine. I think you've just grown used to the things around you, and you forget that if you move some things away, you might be able to see the world even. Oh, better. I'm sorry. I thought you were this vase for a <laughs> so Loud, loud. Quiet no, down. Hello, Hello. Oh, a, a human person. Hello. Hi. We're here, it's an intervention, if you will, to, um, we've gotten some complaints from the ocean critters that not only is their stuff being taken, but there's like no room for them when they're trying to navigate around your cave, things are spilling out and it's just gotten to be quite a state. We know that when you have a lot of stuff, it's usually because you're trying to fill a void inside you. We want to help you, Tomato, as the body. I don't have a void. I have, um, I have this John Cena action figure. I have this, this sleep mask. I have this mug that looks like a little man, but I, I don't have a void. <laughs> well, listen, Tomato, we want to help you. Why don't we go through each of these objects? This is a, a, something we got from Marie Kondo, the expert of decluttering. You're going to tell us what it means to you, why you think you need it, and then we'll we'll talk about it if it really does spark joy or it's something you can let go of. Okay. Right? Well, you said spark joy. So first things first. Here's a big flashlight. Uh, I use this, you know, like for flashlight purposes. I tell scary stories. I obviously live alone, so I don't really tell very many scary stories. And I'm obviously very reflective, so I don't really require light. But in case you know, I wanted to have this, I could use this, and that seems fine, right? Don't you think? Don't you think? Uh, Tomatoa, it seems to me like you're talking about an idea of like having friends over where you could tell those kind of scary stories or having friends over where you could be silly with that flashlight. But I know that Harry Angler lives right next door to you. Yes. And really all he needs is an invitation to quick come over and you guys could together with his light make up stories. You don't need that flashlight. It well, seems like you miss a friend. It's a little hard to have friends over because I have too much stuff and there's nowhere to put them. Oh, I understand. Oh, I just explained that to myself almost. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, you're right. So do you think, what do you think I should do something with this? I think that you should thank it for thank you. being your flashlight for this long. And then you can send it on its way in the ocean current. And, uh, you know, maybe even with a little note attached for Harry, the angler, to say, hey, want to come over to my house for a slumber party? Wow. Fantastic. I'll also send him an evite just in case. Just in case. You know, the current is pretty wild. All right. Fantastic. Uh, what about this? What, what do you think about my snow tube? Snow tube? Never been opened. Never uh, have opened the box for the snow tube, but That's inside a I is a yeah. snow tube, uh, and you go inside it. Uh, it you got to be above the water where I cannot survive, uh, on a cold mountain where I cannot survive, going at a speed that I am uncomfortable at. But one day I'm hoping perhaps I can find a use for it. Tomatoa, let me stop you right there. It seems like you're talking about wanting to have an adventure and experience. We don't want you to be hurt or not be able to breathe or be too cold that you freeze. So let's maybe table the idea of snow tubing, but think about instead, what is in your heart of hearts? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do in, as an adventure that does not require ice and snow? Wow, that is a big question. I mean, I've always thought I would see the Great Barrier Reef in Australia, um, but uh, never put in the effort to make that happen. Maybe that's something I could work on. I, I think that you could just let the simple ocean current take you there without that plastic snow tube and like, you know, send that snow tube up the current for the, uh, the penguins or the polar bears. They might enjoy playing around with that. Sure. 
Sure. I think, I think you're, I think you're right. Okay. I, I've got a, you know, I've actually, I've got a cousin who's a penguin and uh, I think he'd love that. Perfect. Um, okay. Fantastic. How about this? Um, I've got, I do have the, uh, the complete unabridged works of William Shakespeare. Um, now, uh, it's pretty easy read, you know, nice little thin book here. Not really, not really, uh, not really heavy or anything. And uh, yeah, I don't know how to read uh, human language of any kind, but it's nice. You could use it as a hard, uncomfortable pillow. You could use it oh, as Matoa, a- Oh, Matoa, let me stop you right there. Yes. Uh -huh. We sometimes accumulate things based on the person we want to be or the crab we want to be versus who we really are. Like mm -hmm. if you're a guy who doesn't know how to read yet and just thinks that it would be cool to be a guy who reads Shakespeare, maybe there's a way that you can get an audiobook of mm. the plays or even just like go to an underwater screening of some of the movies or the plays themselves. And don't worry about thinking you need to read the complete works of Shakespeare because you don't read. Yes. Just let that go. That's a good point. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, my eyes operate sort of independent from one another anyway. I, I might as well start with two much simpler books than try to focus on one much harder one. <gasps> okay, yeah, great. Uh, can I show you one more thing that's one, Absolutely. I think I can already see you so much better. Do you feel like you have some breathing room around There's you? No room. I mean, I don't really breathe, but I, I definitely right. have some nice bubble space around. Bubble that's, space. that's what it's all about. That's great. Uh, well, I have this one thing. Uh, it tends to make me really happy and take up not that much amount of space. Uh, it's this, uh, this shiny goop. Um, it smells terrible. It yeah. feels disgusting. Um, but if you, if you squish it up against your face, it makes an impression of your face. Uh, and it's a great conversation piece if you're having friends over, which I've never done, but now can. So what do you think? Do I have to throw this away? Goodbye. And, wait, 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 Tomato, stop, stop, stop. Yes. It seems like this is actually bringing you joy. Yeah, 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 yeah. sparking yeah. a lot of joy right now with this. With it, this. it takes a very little space, but regardless, it makes you happy. So yes. keep it by all means. Oh, well, thank you. I think, in fact, I will keep it. And uh, if you at home are looking to uh, make any goop yourself, just know uh, it comes from a lobster sneezing. And that's how you get goop. All right, fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Fantastic. Well, well Matoa, I feel like you've turned over a new leaf. I can see you. I know you're going to have a, a play date with the hairy angler. You're mm -hmm. going to... Maybe take a trip to the Great Barrier Reef. I think you've sort of uncovered and unpacked, no pun intended, the things that really are going to make you happy in this world that is not stuff, right? Yes. I'm, yeah. I'm a regular adventurer now. Yeah. Maybe hit the open road, load up my, uh, my Mazda G6, and just fill up the back with a bunch of juice boxes, yeah. a bunch of fruit roll-ups, and just float that baby down the river. I think that's a great plan, Tomato. We're so happy to have helped you out today. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. You the best. All right, we'll see you in, again, hopefully without so much stuff and with some more buddies and more adventures under your belt. Absolutely. So long. Goodbye. 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 Bye.